morning! Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I think we have exhausted ourselves a little too much, so uh, let's uh, water our crops and then head to the doctor. Oh, it looks like our turnips is ready. Or parsnips. <laughs> Oh, and we have mail. First harvest. To our valued Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operations near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operations is entirely legal. Pursuant to Init uh, L61091 Jojo Co. Apartment, a responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Yoja Customer Satisfaction Representative. Ah, that's good to hear. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. A hundred gold. Racing animals. Robin the local carpenter lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or barn so that you can raise animals. Advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. I'm kinda at farming level one. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Crafting. Help wanted. Trying to keep this art of fishing alive. I'll pay 100g to any fishing enthusiast to cast two smallmouth bass. Okay. 100g reward. You get to keep the fish. Sure. Can't hurt. Need to get used to this. Smallmouth bass. I was lucky. Driftwood. Exciting. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Green algae. Okay, now it's just mocking me. <laughs> Sunfish. Not what we wanted, but we'll take it. Joja Cola. <laughs> See if we can do this. Yes, a small mouth bass. Got the fish, let's go turn them in. There we go. Hey, you succeeded, Ulra. Small mouth bass and an exciting catch, don't you think? You're such a strong swimmer. Well, here's your reward. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so let's sell these. Then we have a sunfish. Hmm. It's not worth a whole lot. But it has a star on it. I wonder if we can give it as a gift. Oh, a present. Thank you. The fresh air of this valley is good for body and mind. Nothing. <laughs> George spends the whole day in front of that damn television set. Hmm, the doctor is out. I guess we don't uh, get to talk with him then.
This stuff can definitely be incorporated in a healthy diet. Grab some of these and stick them in the ground again. Probably you know the most beneficial crop to grow, but uh, that's not bad. Water all the crops. Starting to get tired. Now I'm wondering if we're recovering half our energy each day or if we need to buy something from the doctor to cure our exhaustion. Unfortunately they're locked. You've just moved in, right? Cool. Ah, oh, let's see. Which people have we not met yet? Elliot, we have uh, given a gift. So we still need these three people. This guy, I'm not sure, is going to show up right now because he looks so special. These two, I wonder where they are. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Is that one of them? It was. We just need the spiky hair guy. And look who's there! Sigh, so, I'm not very good. <laughs> How to win friends. Giving gifts to is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual taste and you'll be popular in no time. Give someone a gift. Okay. Well, we've gotten ourselves some friends now, or at least acquaintances. The friendship will come later. Well, we were told in that letter that the path over that bridge had been cleared, so let's check that out. I can't remember it was down here. Was it up here? I think it was up here. Ah, here it is. So this is the place. OK. 
Okay, this looks a little scary. Proven adventurers only. Adventure skill. Okay then. Let's have a look in here. He looks like an adventurer. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft that's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this, you might need it. Oh, we got a sword. A rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventures Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Okay then. So we just got ourselves a sword. I think uh, that marks the time when it is uh, time to change up our setup here a little bit. So, I think like that. Can we push you? Out of order. Okay, we cannot. What is in here? Doesn't seem to be working. I guess that is going to be an elevator that will take us down when we clear levels or something. Well, we might go here and explore very soon. Maybe tomorrow. For now though, let's head back to the farm. Make sure everything is in order and then hit the hay, so to speak. So if we regenerate half of it, that should be 135 plus 19. We'll keep an eye on that tomorrow and we'll know our answer. One thing that I'm happy about is that it doesn't seem like running like this actually uh, costs you anything. Oh. Explore the mine. As an old abandoned mine shaft in the mountains north of town, there could be valuable minerals inside, but Marlin hinted that it might be dangerous. Reach level 5 in the mines. Alright then. Let's put our stuff away and then let's call it off for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again next time. Bye bye for now. Bye!